T-minus 15 seconds. T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. We have main engine start. 4, 3, 2, 1, and liftoff. Liftoff of the 25th Space Shuttle mission, and it has cleared the tower. Liftoff. Good roll program confirmed. Challenger now heading down range. Engines beginning throttling down now at 94%. Normal throttle uh, for most of the flight, 104%. We'll throttle down to 65% uh, shortly. Engines at 65%, three engines uh, running normally, three good fuel cells, three good APUs. Velocity 2,257 feet per second. Altitude 4.3 nautical miles, downrange distance three nautical miles. Throttling up, three engines now at 104 percent. Challenger, go and throttle up. Challenger, go and throttle up. One minute, 15 seconds. Velocity, 2,900 feet per second. Altitude, nine nautical miles. Downrange distance, seven nautical miles. This was the scene on January 28, 1986. This is Mission Control Houston. We have no so reports vehicle exploded. Copy. Fido, can we get any reports from recovery forces? Stand by. Those have an impact point. Stand by. Everybody stay off the telephones. Make sure you maintain all your data. Start pulling it together. Fido flight. Go ahead, sir. Are the LSOs on the loop? We can get them. Get them up on this loop, please. On your own. Yes, sir. It's the LSO. Okay. Are there any forces headed out that way? Yes, sir. DOD LSO reports that all, all soft forces have been scrambled. In a and fiery explosion, way. six astronauts. Michael J. Smith, Dick Scobie, Ronald McNair, Ellison Onizuka, Gregory Jarvis, Judith Resnick, and the first teacher headed for space, Krista McAuliffe, lost their lives in what was the worst disaster in NASA history. Scientists, engineers, and politicians would have to overcome their grief and begin the lengthy process of unraveling the deadly mystery of the Space Shuttle Challenger.